In the last episode of The Assistant, Paradise was rocked with the return of Makita. I'm back. And that day, birthdays were planned. It's his 29th birthday. And hell was unleashed. It's not my birthday. And that night, Andy got even. Nikita, Ebony, you are... <laughs> Is that how you assist me? With seven remaining, who will win the car, the clothes, and the job? And will Nikita be back? bucket. I woke up sick, but Hollywood doesn't take a sick day, even though it's always sick. Andy woke us up early with the siren, you know, once again, which he loves to do. If you guys want to make it in this business, you're going to need to step up to the plate. We should not have done that thing last night. Because now I caught my death of pneumonia. Colin, clean the bark ball. Johnny! <laughs> Are you okay? No. I feel really crappy. Um, is, is there coffee? Me being sick, I think, turned out to be more of a blessing because I get to test them while I rest in bed. Is this fresh squeezed? No. No, 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 no. It just tastes. Do you need a bucket? bucket? Just please, just get rid of this, please. Colin, please. I just want Colin to take it, please. I got it, I got it, I got it. The smell of Andy's puke was really terrible. <laughs> it, uh, the first bucket that I had to empty, I almost puked myself. I don't want to touch my own vomit. I might reinfect myself. Well, there's really... A lot to do today. Still, you know, Hollywood doesn't stop. There were a couple tasks that needed to be done that day, so he decided to delegate them to us. Anna, I'm doing this buddy movie with Jack Osborne. Andy assigned me to do some research on a script that uh, Jack and Andy were working on. I am supposed to meet with him today and go and like and go through history. We're going to go to the library, so you have to meet with him. Okay, okay. Uh, Colin. I'm gonna need you to break up with the, with Michelle. It's not it's not working out. I'll tell you. I'll show you how to do. It. I've done it before. It's really easy. Um, Tanika and Michael. Our task was to get Andy a Hollywood Walk of Fame star. I, I want my star. I want a star. Isn't it about time? Stephanie and Melissa. I'm a big brother. His name is Jim Jim, and I'm supposed to meet with him today and hang out with him for a couple hours. I'm a little bit worried because some kids can be quite a handful. Mark? My responsibility was to take care of a uh, Japanese interview for him. I'm going to have you do it for me. So he wanted me to dress up and pretend to be him and, you know, conduct the interview. That's it. You do that interview. I'll see you guys back later. I feel better. Everybody's a little nervous. I think everybody's a lot more nervous than I get. Today, I was sick. I lost some motor skills, and yeah, I'm spilling. Oh, my God. That's what I have assistance for. Clean up on aisle vomit. I almost threw up. I have the weakest stomach. You look good. Yeah, this is going to work. Yeah. Cover up all your hair because really it's not. Not even a little bit. I have taught so many people how to do me. You know, talk about, hi, I'm Andy Dick. It's so surprisingly very easy to do. Where's Andy? 
He's actually sick today. I was a little scared about the assignment, and this is Andy. I could just imagine the kid being a little brat. Listen up. I'm Andy Dick. I'm Andy Dick. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, let's, let's go. get going. Everybody's uh, great. The schedule's yeah. great. Wonderful to work with. I love every... <laughs> Jack, Very nice honest. to meet you. Do. You want to go up the stairs and see Andy? I was excited about working with him. I'd never met him before, so it was going to be interesting. Andy, Jack's here with me. Jack Osborne. <laughs> yes. The dabs are getting more personal, which means that we're getting closer to the goal. Andy is never happy with anything. I have no idea who, who's going to be next. You never know. Andy's definitely testing us to see if we, we have what it takes. It's turning into quite a competition because it's so unpredictable. Clean up on an aisle vomit. Vomit. Feeling so much better, you guys. No, I'm not. Oh, God. I woke up sick, but I'm going to make my assistants do what I would normally do. That's how, I, I have that luxury. I'm Andy Dick. I like that. It's going to be great. He's trying to test us. This is a serious thing to me. This is, this is not a joke. We're being trusted with more responsibilities. We are all very, very nervous. I'm going to be clipping someone tonight. That's for damn sure. What day is it today? Today's not it? Sunday. Don't libraries close on Sunday? <laughs> it's a very good possibility. Andy assigned me to do some research on a script that uh, Jack and Andy were working on. Let's not even bother it. I've got to complete my mission. What happens if you don't? Then I, I failed. Sorry that he couldn't make it, but he was vomiting and everything. Uh, okay. He's my little brother because I signed up for that program. You seem rather unamused with us. Yeah. yeah. Andy informs Melissa and I that we must just kind of entertain him for the day. We thought we'd take him bowling. Well, Andy usually makes jokes. And We're not making jokes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you guys are funny like Andy. The deadline for the Walk of Fame star is Monday, and there were so many applications, they stayed open on Sunday. How are you? Hi, Micah. Hi, Micah. Micah. I sent Tanika, and I sent Michael, because this star is very important to me. As you would probably imagine, we're not used to getting filmed, having cameras here, but, uh, you know, our deadline is today. Okay. We're under a lot of pressure. We have a lot of people that we've been considering. Okay. The two people that we're dealing with, obviously, don't have much time for us. Who are we discussing? Andy, Andy Dick. Dick. Red hair. Um, He's a comedian. comedian Well-known comedian. Oh. My assignment was to conduct the interview as Andy with the Japanese. So I had to pretend to be him. I put on the glasses, the hat. I put a towel in there with the shards coming out so it looked like, you know, I have some blonde hair. Andy promised me he was going to buy me an electric scooter next time I saw him. I'm like, this is the next time. He's kind of a bastard. Well, actually, he is a bastard, literally, because he doesn't have any He told me he was going to get me a new cell phone because last time, like, mine broke. Some kid at school stole it and then threw it on the ground. Colin! Barf bucket! Hey, you know what? Can we go to Pickwick? I have to go ice skating. He's doing some type of movie in December that requires him to be an ice hockey expert. Ooh. Are we done? <laughs> done, right? Done. Why we were there and only skated one round, you got me. I should be researching. I feel like I'm going to be in big trouble. It felt as though everything was kind of out of my control. Can't really help that the library's closed on Sunday. No. I'm just kind of wondering why he chose me to go break up with his girlfriend for him. I guess he thought that I had more experience with breaking up with women. Can Andy invite you? 
Yeah, Andy, Andy sitting over here. She is a little too clingy. Please, clip her. He's sitting over here because he wants to break up with you. Sure, I'm sure. I'm serious. Can someone get me a Sierra Mist and some dry toast? Honestly, I still cannot put a face to the name. The, you've heard of someone called Picasso, right? I believe we have. Heard of Picasso, yeah. right. He died and nobody knew of his work. Picasso, that's not true. The thing is he that... He was one of the richest, most famous artists in the world. It's a most definitely no. You guys, thank you so much, but really, we gotta, we gotta wrap it up. Okay. They had their suspicions. I mean, they definitely came up to me like, no, 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 where's the real Andy? No, no, no. Are you Andy or are you? I, I, uh, I, I... I thought you didn't like bowling. I don't. You kind of suck. I know I do, don't I? He has very strong opinions. I thought you said you were good. I meant to miss the pit, you know? What, what are you doing? Where, where are you? I'm gonna be calling real quick. Yeah, yeah, Andy. Just snip it, clip it. It's done, it's over, there's nothing I can tell you. He's he's through. You're you've been clipped. Come on back. The electric scooter is not that big of a deal, but he absolutely promised. That oh, I electric scooter yeah wait you went where to the skating rink you put on skates and you guys are like holding hands or... no no we're not holding hands if you guys want to go ahead and hump on ice i guess be my guest you gotta go no call him back have a nice life call him back i'm sorry i got the violet she could be a little clingy and insane yeah. i gotta go no i've got things to do we have good news we have good news it's a go? It's in progress. Right. Well, we kind of fudged it a little bit because they hadn't said no ever. Get me a frickin' star. That's the last time you're doing anything like that. Look, this is not funny. This is not cool. You, you turned me into a, a joke. Once in my life, I was at a loss for words. I always know what to say in any situation. I always have something to say or I'll make it up. You guys aren't getting me the cell phone that Andy promised or like the scooter. I had a really hard week, and like, just living with my mom and stuff, it kind of sucks. What was that sticking out of your hat? I couldn't see it from here. It was, uh, it was a cut, some, some part of a towel. Why don't you turn me into a sock puppet next time, Mark? Shut up! You love it. You're not in hot water, you're in a hot bucket of barf, is what you're in. You're on thin ice. Andy's unpredictable, we don't really know what he's gonna do. I did everything possible to try to get him that star. Personally, I'm very scared that this might be my last night here. Bye. Yeah, you're having good luck. I always get nervous whenever elimination round comes. I'm nervous because I know somebody's going home. It's not as fun as I thought it would be. Clipping people. It's just, it hurts. This reality thing is really kind of getting to me, you guys. Bar bucket.